So the next thing to happen on Monday Night Raw, we get to the next match of the night. It was Thron Breaker versus Ilya Dragunov 101. In this match, it was a really damn good one. Both of these guys was beating the hell out of each other during this match. Going up near falls a lot of times in this match. Ilya kept on fighting through as much as he can. Braun Breaker obviously being that badass and stuff beating the hell out of Ilya. So yeah, it was just going back and forth. Fans was into it. They was chanting this is awesome a lot of times in this match. Uh, Breaker was going after the ribs of Ilya. Ilya was trying to hit like a bunch of German suplexes during this match and everything. But then they go outside of the ring at one point and, uh, you know, Ilya was actually taking control of this match. Because at one point he actually hit the H-bomb onto Braun Breaker in the ring and he pinned him. But Breaker barely kicked out too, so then they, uh, they eventually go outside of the ring. And Ilya clears off the announce table. He picks Breaker up and puts him up there and he climbs up there with him. And it looks like he's playing put uh, Breaker through the announce table, I guess, by trying to suplex him through it or something. But then Breaker... Holds on, reversing it. He actually picks up Ilya and drops him like a front suplex. And Ilya hits his ribs pretty much right there on the corner off the table and stuff. Uh, t getting taken out as well. Breaker then jumps off and starts beating the hell out of Ilya. Throwing him into the uh, barricade. Picking him up and running him into the ring post. Uh, at one point, you know, Ilya almost got counted out and stuff. They go into the ring, just going at it back and forth and everything. But then Breaker actually hits a spear onto Ilya. But before he can go for the pin, Ilya rolls out of the ring. And then uh, Breaker sees Ilya rolling out of the ring and stuff. And he kind of gets pissed off about it. So he rolls out the ring as well and runs full speed with a spear onto Ilya, dragging off outside of the ring. He gets back into the ring. You know, Ilya is getting counted out and stuff. Uh, the referee makes it up to the count of nine, and Ilya barely makes it back into the ring by the count of nine. But as soon as he gets back up to his feet, Braun Breaker's already hitting the ribs, and he comes back with another massive spear, a third one, onto Ilya Dragunov, and then he pins up for the one, two, three. So yeah, Braun Breaker defeated Ilya Dragunov tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. It was a pretty good match. Uh, but then after the match ended, uh, Breaker actually sees Ilya getting back up to his feet again, right there by the barricades. So Breaker actually sees Ilya, he rolls back out of the ring, and it looks like he's trying to run up and spear Ilya through the barricade, but when he was running up to hit that spear onto him, we see, we see Ricochet jump off the barricade with a massive clothesline onto Breaker, and then he drop kicks him and knocking Breaker over the barricade and stuff, uh, saving Ilya. So yeah, Ricochet saves Ilya tonight on Raw. So yeah, for the match, what happened after the match, I'll give it all four and a half stars as well. It was a great match. I really liked it. It was a good one. But yeah, that's what happened there. Good stuff. But yeah, there's still more stuff to come later on tonight on Raw. We'll see Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor in the main event. If uh, Finn Balor wins, that means the Judgment Day will be around at Clash of the Castle. And if Drew McIntyre wins, that means the Judgment Day is banned from ringside. So yeah, that match is still to come later on tonight in the main event. But up next, we're going to be seeing Awesome Truth defending the World Tag Team Championships up against the Authors of Pain up next in a tag team match. For the titles. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then.